Hello everyone, my name is Akila, and I'd like to thank Nadia for having me on her channel to share this content with you guys today. So today I'm going to be discussing personal planets retrograde in a natal chart and how that affects you when you have personal planets retrograde such as Venus, Mercury, Mars, um, and also how this affects you by transits of personal planets retrograding and by progressions in your progress chart. So retrogression is basically the view of the Earth, which is very egocentric with astrology. We're viewing planets um, on an egocentric way. And when planets go retrograde from the Earth's perspective, from the Earth's point of view, it looks as if the planet is making the same um, journey but three different times, going forward first, backwards, and then forward again. So from the Earth's perspective, this planet has something that it needs to do, some information that it needs to gather, or something that it needs to reflect on or rearrange or reanalyze. And this is how this planet gets its retrogression, as you can say, um, motion from the Earth's point of view. So the sun and the moon are luminary, so they don't retrograde. They don't retrograde at all. They're basically always going forward and always going into a process of creation. Whereas the personal planets and the outer planets have a different dynamic and a different system to them. So let's talk about when someone has their planets retrograde. So you can be someone that has a Mercury retrograde in your birth chart. And looking at the function of Mercury, Mercury rules um, information, it rules commerce, it rules the way that your mind processes information, the way that you're able to express yourself with your words or your written words or the way that you just post on your social media sometimes. That's Mercury. And when you have Mercury retrograde, it just means that you're doing things, um, you're processing information a different way, you're communicating with others in a different way. Um, you can even have uh, different language barriers or something that is very... Um, different from the, the environment. You're learning differently from the environment that you were brought up in, sometimes with the Mercury retrograde. You can have a stutter or speak slowly or take time to process words when your Mercury is retrograde. When you have a Venus retrograde, Venus represents love, money, value, everything that comes with um, finances and material things, how you can acquire them. And also Venus rules over love and relationships how you relate to someone on a one-on-one, -on -one, and how is it that partnerships work in your world. When you have this planet of Venus retrograding in your natal chart, it basically means that you look at money, you look at what you value, you even look at relationships a little bit differently than those around you. Venus only goes retrograde once every about about 12, 18 months or so. So it is a planet that's very rare with this retrogration phase. So when you have a Venus retrograde, you can find that everything that you value may not be the things that other people in your world value. With a Venus retrograde also, you can find that what you like and what you love is very avant-garde, not something that's normal. Uh, it can have a more Uranian kind of quality to it, or you can be attracted to people that are very Uranian or odd or different um, or from a different background or culture than you. It's very uh, more so the Venus retrograde phase with that. Also, Venus um, is a big indicator of how you're hearing things and how you're processing what you hear. So you can find that your hearing is very fine-tuned or you can find that you don't hear words the very best sometimes when other people are talking to you. Um, with the Venus retrograde, you're going to love differently than a lot of other people around you. Let's say you have your Mars retrograde in your natal chart. When you have your Mars retrograde in your natal chart, that's your willpower, the will um, the way that you go about getting what you want, the action-oriented energy. And when the planet Mars is retrograding the natal chart, the way you may go about things may not be as quick, rash, uh, and impulsive as other people. Depending on the sign, the house, and the aspects that your Mars was also making, it also tells me how this person is going to go about moving their physical energy through this world. So if you have your Mars retrograde, let's say in um, Taurus, it'd be a person that would think about how they are going to move, what they're going to spend their money on, what they're going to put their time into. And it's something that they'll think about a lot before they actually set into motion um, this action-oriented energy. Another thing with retrograde planets. So let's say you have retrograde planets in your chart. When these personal planets like Mercury, Venus, or Mars go retrograde. 
you tend to find that this is kind of like a utopia moment for you you feel really good you feel like oh this is I'm, I'm moving I'm getting done everything that I wanted to get uh, done Mars retrogrades every like two almost two years or so so let's say you've been thinking about doing something and you have a Mars retrograde in your natal chart when Mars goes retrograde by transit you can find that you're getting done everything that you've set out to get done in the past two years same thing with Venus if you have a Venus retrograde and you find that Venus is retrograding by transit, you can find that this is the time that all of the things that you value, all the things that you put a lot of your um, time, effort, and even the people that you um, are in relationships with, you may find that this is a time that a lot of different things start to take place in uh, those realms with that planetary energy. Same thing with Mercury. You can find that you're getting a lot of things done where there has to do with writing, speaking, communicating with siblings or people around you in your neighborhood. You may be a little bit more outgoing or more focused on getting your work done um, when these planets are in retrogression uh, with the personal planets. So I want to talk about more so the pre-shadow, uh, the, the pre-shadow, the retrogression process, and the post-shadow. So the pre-shadow is basically those degree points that the retrograde, your personal retrograde planets were, were walking along and moving along and passing before they hit their actual retrogration position. So there's degree points in all of this. And when you have those degree points, your planets are going to go back over again, those degree points, those shadows. So sometimes retrog retrogration point, retrogration periods can last anywhere from about, um, with Mercury, it's about three weeks. Um, it can last anywhere from three weeks, but it lasts longer than that. So let's say you're born with a retrograde planet on a post, on a pre-shadow. Pre-shadow is right before the planet went retrograde. So this is, these are a lot of people that can find that sometimes their, um, the information that they're gathering is not always exactly as they see it. So they may find that they have to go over things when Mercury's retrograde, even though they're not born with a Mercury retrograde, but they're born right before it, it can say a lot to, to the breathing patterns even of this individual. If you're born during the retrograde period, it's more so like your mind is actually in the process of retuning, fine tuning something. And when you're born in on the post shadow retrogression of any of these personal planets, it can mean that You've got the information that you needed. You've gotten you've gotten all that information. Now it's more so time try it's time to try to implement all those things um, slowly as the planet gains back like its movement again more. It's like its motion is starting to move a little bit more uh, faster as the post retrogression is happening. So this is more so a person that's gotten the lesson. They're now trying to incorporate what they've learned during the retrograde period during the also pre-retrograde period into their post-retrogration phase. So this is more so um, how that works. So now let's talk about it. Let's say you have no planets retrograde in your chart natally and uh, you check your progress chart and you find that there's some planets that are retrograding, let's say a personal planet. Let's say Venus, for example. Venus retrogrades and we're going to be looking at the fact that you may find that what you value, the relationships that you have and what you call love and what you want to uh, buy or put on your body or even look at yourself or how you view yourself uh, physically um, may change. You may find that you're going more inward to try to figure out what it is that you now value in this process of your life or this period that you're in. Um, let's say your Mars is uh, now in your progress chart retrograde and it was not retrograde when you were born. It can mean that you now are looking at your actions a little bit more. Um, you think think more about how it is that you're going to put your physical energy into something. Um, you may consciously go over things over and over and over and over again before you actually decide that you're going to do this thing or put your energy into that as well. Same thing with Mercury. With Mercury retrograde, you can you can find that. Um, the way you used to process information, the way you used to talk to people, the way you used to communicate may go through a major transformation when the planet Mercury goes um, retrograde in your progress chart. And usually when the planets go um, retrograde in your progress chart, it usually means you were born with either a um, a a pre-shadow kind of energy in your on your natal chart and you didn't know it because the the retrogression is not going to be signaled 
at that point. It's only it's only um shown in the chart when the actual planet is retrograding. Will not show you post shadow or pre shadow. You have to look into it. You have to look at an ephemeris to get this kind of information on retrogrations uh, with retrograde planets. All right, so let's go over this a little bit more. You want to check if you have retrogation planets. You want to check the sign that your retrograde planet was in. The aspects that your net retrograde planet was making. To what houses are they speaking to? Because you'll find that that's the areas of your life that you take more time to reflect or you take more time to process things with those retrograde planets. Elemental uh, energy is very important. So if you want to just look at um, the element also that your retrograde planet, your personal retrograde planet is in, example your retrograde venus is in um is in libra so libra is an air sign about communication and relationship so you may find that the way that you communicate in your relationships are very different from the people around you when you have your retrograde venus in an air sign it's about connecting with people on a mental level so I hope this was enlightening for some of you guys that have retrograde planets in your birth chart. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can email me at akilaastrology at gmail.com. You can also look for my website, akilaastrology.com, which will be launching this spring. Thank you again, Nadia, for having me on your channel. Thank you all for your time and energy for listening, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.